So this is my Lady Shirley and I'm going to conduct an experiment on her. It works perfectly. Uh, it has an old Lesat lead acid battery and a 545 brushed motor. But I'm going to put a brushless motor in and a brushless speed controller and a lipo and see how it all eventually turns out. So these are the parts. I've got the old brushed motor that you can see there. Um, this is the new one, the brushless. It's ridiculous. I can't see how this is going to replace that. Here's the old uh, 2 amp hour lead acid battery, over a kilogram there. Um, there's the lipo, much lighter. And now we have the old electronized speed controller. If you're keeping up with the weights, you can see the weight difference in this, which is ridiculous and there is the new speed controller. Now this is the motor. I can't believe how tiny it is. I just put it in the vise and played, for, played with it for a little while. It's, it's an odd shape on the end as well. It was recommended to me as a good replacement for a 545. Now what I've also got here is a watt meter and I've placed that in line with all of this because I'm going to use this to measure the amount of power that's used. So here we go. I've got the Lady Shirley on a course. It's got the lead acid battery in it. It's got the uh, brushed motor and the old electronized um, speed controller. I'm running it close to flank speed. I mean it will possibly go a bit faster than this but with the wave motion around the hull it tends to be this tends to be its speed which is probably too fast for the ship as it actually is. Now you can see there are three boys um, on this uh, lake and I'm going to run around these three boys four times and I'm using two cameras that's the reason it just switched and I'm not going to bore you I'm going to stick it into ten times faster now so that it's going to sail around um, this in a reasonable amount of speed. There's two issues that I'm looking at one is power consumption, the second is performance, and the particular issue in performance that I'm interested in is low speed maneuverability. Because in my view, boats like this need to be able to putter along at a nice low speed. And if they can't, it, they're, they're, they're just not going to work very well at all. And I'm not at all convinced that this brushless motor is going to fill the bill. So here we are, we've just finished our fourth lap and I'm just coming to the end of this because I've videoed it I know how long it takes it uh, takes seven minutes to complete this run um, and that's that's about it now I'm just showing you I'm, I'm currently on slow ahead the motors just ticking over in fact the only way I know I've got forward motion on the prop is to actually hit the rudder which I've just done but I got did you see the gust of wind that hit, hit me just then? It's knocked me right off. Can't do it. Never ceases to amaze me how um, much respect we need to have for people that dock real ships like this and can't just get their hand out and push it off the dock when it crashes into it. But that's a nice... Uh, this, is, this is how it performs. It performs really very, very nicely. I, I can't criticize it. So the time taken for the whole circuit was seven minutes. It used 6.22 amp hours. The lead acid battery is 2 amp hours, so it means sailing time at flank speed is around about 22 minutes. For me, that's enough. I don't need any more than that because I like creeping around the place anyway. So here we are. I'm now just going to test out the new system. As you can see, I've got the speed controller, the lipo. I've actually also added another 4.8 volt battery because I realized I thought I could run it all off the 6 volt uh, lead acid but the but the uh, brushless and the speed controller really do need 7.4 from a lipo. So that's the reason for this. I'm just going through the process of getting the um, extremes of the travel of the arm uh, calibrated and this is it. Now you notice here I've pushed the shaft out a little bit. It's got a clip on one end it's a 3 mil shaft and it comes out quite easily. It's a very odd little motor to get into place and I spent a bit of time thinking about how to do this. And then at someone's prompting I broke into um, an old 
uh, CD player and found two beautiful shafts of 3mm stainless steel. It's amazing what you can find in these things. And fortunately, the pinion wheel on here has got a 3mm uh, bore, so this is working out perfectly. All I've got to do now is put a chamfer um, into that. I'm going to cut it now to length, a new piece of 3mm shaft. The other one had a clip on the end of it. I don't need it now because I'm going to use the pinion wheel and, and tighten the pinion wheel down on, onto it. And as you can see it here, that's just terrific. And the good thing is that the teeth are close to the center of the motor, which means that the torsion is less. Now I'm just using a piece of plastic here, uh, just drilling a hole in there. I'm going to put a couple of threaded screws on either side. So what I'm doing now is I'm just drilling the base of this. I've got a 3 is to 1 reduction belt drive in here that you've seen, I think, as we've moved along. Really makes a difference in, in slow speed uh, work. Um, but here we are with the brushless and I think it's all going to work okay. So I'm going to give it a run now and see how it looks. Now this is the first time it's run with a brushless motor. And the result's okay. Pretty happy with that. I'm not sure how that's going to translate into actual um, pond performance, but we're going to see in a minute. So here we go. And right from the beginning, I found that this, and I have absolutely no doubt this is to do with the 3 is to 1 reduction. It could actually be almost 4 is to 1. I should look at it again, but it really nicely puts this... Uh, ticking this prop over at the right speed. Now I've got about, I, now I'm making a judgment call here about speed. I think that looks about the same as it was before. Once again, this boat really uh, does have a maximum speed due to the hull shape and the wave formation. But this looks right and I'm pretty confident with this. And if not, I'll know what the difference in time is and that, and I'll, I'll build that into the equation in some sort of way. I don't think there'll be much difference though overall. The real thing is going to be around low speed performance I would uh, suggest to you because this looks all pretty good. It's fl flipping around this pond. <laughs> and now here we come in for the final um, statement. I'm just backing the motor off here getting slower and slower I'm just backing the motor off here, it's getting slower and slower and heading for the dock for the first time. Too much forward speed here, but I should have backed it off probably a little bit more. I'm going to have another go a little bit later, but that's not too bad. Now, what's the story? The time taken, 7 minutes and 2 seconds, that's unbelievable that it's the same. But the power usage is 0.227 amp hours. Given that my battery capacity is now 5.2 amp hours, I can sail at flank speed for 2.6 hours. Something I'm not going to do, but it's quite remarkable. So the comparison are that the circumstances are the same, the speed was the same, but the power usage of the brushless motor over the brushed is 36% and there is a ridiculous amount of sailing time by using the lipo battery. And needless to say, there's a lot more space inside the boat. So here we are, I'm just using a little bit of power now as I come through. Uh, this is um, once again powered by the brushless motor. And the boat's looking very nice on the water, it's sitting nicely. I actually can't fault this, this is really lovely. I mean, you can see as the boat moves how the wave pattern really is locked in around it. And that's the reason why you don't really get a great deal more speed than that. But now here's the test. This is slow ahead and I'm coming in for the first time. And honestly, that's great. It is absolutely remarkable. This motor must be just ticking over so slowly and I've got complete control. This is the bit that's shocking me. To be honest with you, this is a real winner.
got a howling gale outside that you can hear. Lovely. So the end of the story is, yeah, get a brushless motor. They are so efficient and you can get genuinely slow speed out of them. You probably do need to think about a reduction system in your boat, but if you don't have one of those now, you probably don't get decent slow speed anyway. All right, see you later.